All right, Hillcrest, today we're gonna to bring you a golf-specific workout. Uh, normally when we have a full gym available, um, golf-specific doesn't always mean uh, exercises that look like you're golfing or chopping or rotating. Um, there's a lot of deadlifting, a lot of hinging, a lot of squatting, a lot of basic movements that are probably the best for golf. Um, but since we have a lack of equipment here, I'm gonna use a couple dumbbells and a band, something similar to probably what you guys have at home. Um, we're going to get a little bit more technical, a little bit more rotation, uh, a little bit more golf-ish on our exercises. So it'll be fun, uh, stuff that you can throw into your regular workout uh, when you get back into a routine. But golf-specific workout here, uh, we're going to try to get squatting motions, rotating motions, hinging motions, uh, pulling motion, and a push motion. 25-30 uh, minute full workout here. Okay, so we're gonna start with our morning stretch uh, warm up. So we went through T spine, cat and camels, uh, shoulder cars, and then our internal external hip push downs. And then from here, we're gonna go up into split squat. So we're gonna start split squat, back foot up on the toe, looking straight forward, ribs in, core on, okay, nice neutral spine. And then we're just dropping straight down here. Regular split squats for one set. And okay, we're just gonna go eight reps. Each leg, breathing out as we come up. And as we go down, two more on the side, one and two. And we'll go ahead and switch. Eight. If you want, if your range of motion doesn't let you get down all the way to the floor, we can put a pillow or some kind of box below this knee here and just drop it down onto the pillow or box. Explode up, control all the way down, eight. Let's go two more. One and two. Okay, take quick 30 seconds. We're gonna add a twist on this next set. So we got two more sets, but we're gonna add a twist on the way down and on the way back up. So the last one, we were just going regular split squat. Now we're gonna go hands over shoulders, ribs and abs on. Don't let this knee rotate with you when you rotate over that leg. So we're gonna rotate over the knee as we go down, head looking straight forward, and then pop up. Rotate all the way down, pop up. Teaching disassociation, so we're being mobile through our torso, but we're being stable through our low body and keeping our head stable. So more than just a split squat here, body control. Two more. One and two. Good. We'll go ahead and switch. Yeah, we're being mobile through our torso, rotating through the proper part of our back, stable through a low body, not letting the knee track out or in. Head staying still. Exploding off the ground. I'm trying to just do a really light tap in the knee on the ground. Two more. One. And two. Good. Breathe. We'll take 30 seconds and do it again. Split squat with rotation. When we're dropping down, and instead of light tap in the knee on the ground, try to imagine like a little egg down there, and you're trying to just give it a little tap without breaking the egg. Okay? That'll show that we have control and we're not just collapsing down on the ground each time we're working eccentrically on the way down as well. Okay? So again, rotate over that front leg, nice tight twist, twist back up. You're starting the twist as soon as you're going down, twisting back to center on your way up. Let's go three more on this leg. And three, good, go ahead and switch. High up on that back toe, you're using both legs to push down through the ground. Bring it out as you pop up. Let's go two more to make it eight. One and two. Perfect. The breather, if you need some water, real quick, uh, let's grab the dumbbells once we're ready. 
I've got both here, so we're going to have two options. We can go just a regular two leg hinge in a row, okay, for 12, or we can drop down single leg hinge and do six rows while we're in that single leg hinge. Three, four, five, and six. So it's legs, finish the 12, balancing, five, and six. Let's put one weight down. Let's go half kneeling. I'll show you another option if you have a light weight. Uh, we'll be standing up on one leg pressing. So half kneel, ribs in, abs on, and pressing. Okay, let's go 12 each arm here. If you have a lighter weight, feel free to go higher reps. Or I'll show you the alternate here once I get 12. Two more. One and two. Switch legs, switch arms if you're going to stay on one knee. Or we can come up and go hip flexion and press. Balancing. Okay? Hip flexion and press for 12. Or again, we can sit down half kneeling, whatever knees on the ground, that side is pressing. We're getting 12. So about three more for you guys. One, two, and three. Good. Breathe. We need some water real quick. Grab some. If not, we're going to take about 30 seconds. Just breathe in. And golf specific workout. All of these, we're trying to get as many muscles activated as we possibly can and each move while getting our squat, our hinge, our pull, and our push movements in. Because just like a golf swing, there's tons of muscles. Almost all your muscles in your body are working through the swing. So that's what we want to train. That's how we want to train uh, in the gym. So why don't we get back into my single leg hinge. Six rows. Six and back up, keeping that back strong, straight, good solid rows, not losing posture on the way down. And then six, good. I'm going to get back down half kneeling into our overhead press. Okay. Ribs in, back straight, pressing straight up. Elbow here can be all the way out to the side. Could be all the way out in front of you, it doesn't matter. I like to settle right in the middle. But as long as we finish, straight up with that weight. Let's go two more. One and two for 12. Good. Go ahead and switch. There we go. Get breathing out as you press up. Looking straight forward. Breathing in on the way down. Let's go three more. One, two, and three. Good. Pull the weight down. I'm going to grab my band and we're going to go into our lateral shuffles. Get our glutes turned on here. Feet pointed straight forward. And if you have a small loop band, you can use one of those as well and wrap it around the ankles. We're just going side to side steps. We're going to go about 30 seconds. I'm going to go three steps each way just to stay on camera. Three two, three. Always feel like you're driving knees out. Arch your foot's working. Okay, we had these in a video a couple days ago. I'll show these to all of my clients. About 30 seconds, sidestep. Driving knees out, getting glutes turned on here. Let's go there and back one more time. One, two, three, and one, two, and three. I'm gonna use this same band. I'm gonna tie it up to my rack and a door, anything at home, a partner can work. I'm gonna go half kneeling, these weights out here. I'm gonna do inside leg down, outside leg out. 
I'm going to have this time about belly button height here. Ribs are in. I'm going to bring it in front of my belly button. Right away, you're going to feel the band is going to want to pull it over to the side. So you're preventing that rotation over by using everything responsible for rotation in the core. So here, press, and we're going to hold here about 20 seconds. Okay? Don't let this knee dive in. Keep it straight out in front of you. Shoulders stuck back, chin stuck back, look straight forward. If it's not tight enough, scoot over a little bit further. Let's go five seconds here. Get ribs in, try not to be overextended. And relax, we'll go ahead and turn around. We'll go other leg out in front. Okay, ribs in, elbows tucked, shoulders back. Chin tucked, looking straight forward. Now letting this knee collapse. You should feel this inside glute on, working. And let's relax right there. Go about 30 seconds, get that band off the rack again. We're gonna set up for our shuffles. I'm gonna show you two rounds on this if you want. I go through it a third time. Okay. Cross the band, reach down to make it tighter. Never bring your feet too close together on these two. You'll notice it'll get hard to step side to side. Drive the knees out. I'm going three each way. 30 seconds. Hips are back behind me. Feel my feet, my toes working. Still breathing. And let's go there and back. Three, one, two, and three. We'll take that out. Let's tie that band up again. And this could be a good partner exercise too. Your partner could be on the other end, holding the other side of the band, doing the same exercise. Uh, we'll give you just a little bit different option here. So we're gonna bring the band to the belly button. And we're just going to be active with pressing. So instead of just holding it out there, we're going to press and we'll do it for a count. So we'll go 15 presses, ribs in, core on, shoulders back. You're pressing out on a straight line from your belly button. Don't let it go to your right or left. You're preventing rotation. Trying to look straight forward, shins tucked, back straight, ribs in. 15 presses, five more. One, three, four, and five. Go ahead and switch. And outside knee forward. Ribs in. Press. And just go closer to the rack, get closer to your partner to make it easier. Go further away to make it harder. Good posture, shoulders stay back. Go 15 presses. Let's go three more. One, two, and three. We'll rest, take a minute break there. And if you like, Go through it a third round, and those are lateral shuffles, and then a peel off press half kneeling. And many different options on that peel off press, excellent exercise uh, for preventing rotation. Preventing rotation. So that's with my clients, the first thing I'm going to teach them before rotation is how to prevent it. Um, and we'll get here to a rotary exercise here in a second, uh, grabbing some water real quick. I'm going to get down on the mat. I'm going to set up for side planks. Okay. And we've got a couple different options here. So I'm going to go knees, hips, shoulders, all in one straight line, and then feet and legs straight back at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so you can do that, 
or you can have your feet straight out in front. I like to go top leg um, in front, bottom leg back behind, and then you can come up from here. I'm gonna stay in this 90 degree angle version where I'm pushing down through my knees. Makes me feel like I'm using my glute a little bit more on the bottom side. Uh, we're gonna go up from here. So glute here is turned on, obliques here turned on. I feel like this rib is pushing up the whole time. This leg comes up as well. I'm gonna reach up. Now if we can, if we feel comfortable from here, I'm gonna reach this arm through this gap, rotating, trying to keep the low body still. Okay, so disassociation drill where I'm rotating just to the upper body, but keeping the low body still. We're gonna go 10 rotations. Reaching as far through as you can, a little shoulder stability on the side here. Go three more. And three, good. You'll notice my leg started to fall down there. Uh, make sure that leg stays up high. Get a straight line from knee, hip to shoulder. And then up from here, hips come up, so glutes on, obliques, abs on here, rib stays up, reach, and through. Getting 10 here, and then we're going to have that dumbbell, just one dumbbell available right after this. Two more. One, reach up, and two, relax. I'm going to grab that one dumbbell, and we're going to go a single leg glute bridge uh, with weight. I'm just going to go 10 each side, extend one leg. I like to go both thighs parallel through the whole set here. Um, up to you, it can be straight up. I just don't like to see this leg swinging around. I like to keep it in the same spot. So, weights on your waist. Single leg bridge, make sure there's a roll off. Exploding up, control on the way down. Explode up, getting this glute to activate through the push. We're going 10. Let's go two more. One. And two. Go ahead and switch. It may help too if you're feeling too much hamstring or too much calf um, involved. You can go up on your heel with your toes off the ground. I like to go flat footed just because when we're walking around day to day, uh, if we're on our feet, not walking our heels. But either one works. I'm exhaling as I go up, inhaling as I come down, trying to explode up. King of the swing. Let's go two more. One and two. We'll relax. Quick, quick, quick 30 seconds there. And then we'll go back into our side planks. But the glute, the glutes, is where we're getting most of our power from. So we're using our glutes to push down through the ground and thrust our hips forward um, through and after contact. Uh, the famous thing a couple years ago, Tiger. I believe it was Torrey Pines. He was having trouble firing his left glute. It shows you how important it really is. All right, so driving through the knee, using the glute here, abs up. Good, we can either hold or throw a rotation in, reach through, but keep the low body still. Get 10 rotations. So we have two more, one, and two, good. We'll go ahead and switch sides. You want to look up some old videos too, to show you how important the glutes are. Go back to late 90s, early 2000s. 
Pick up Tiger Swing. Uh, and they used to wear those big baggy pants. If he was swinging, he'd activate his glutes so much that each time he swung, he'd end up with a wedgie. So they had to start making up some new pants. Late 90s, early 2000s. And you can really see the activation, see how important it is to the swing and how much power it gives you. So you keep breathing, let's go three more. One, two, and three. Relax, let's grab that weight again. We're gonna go back to our single leg bridges. And I'm gonna do two rounds if you want, go through it a third time. Okay, bridge. Control it down, explode up. I'm just going 10 reps here, so three more. One, two, and three. Go ahead and switch. Glitch should be getting tired here. Try not to use your low back too much. Try not to use your hamstrings too much. We're going to focus on the glute here. Let's go four more. One, two, three, and four. Relax, take a minute. If you'd like, go through that a third time to so the side plank for the rotation. Um, and then it's a single leg loop bridge. If not, we're going to set up for a stretch. Uh, so if you're going through that third time, just put it on pause, come back to the stretch. So uh, we're going to go 90 90 degrees, uh, thigh straight forward, lower leg straight to the side, foot at 90, and then the same thing in the back thigh side, lower leg straight back, uh, foot at 90. Sitting up as tall as we can. All I'm going to do is come straight forward. Light on the hands, keep the back straight. Breathe, I'm trying to push my stretch into this glute here, okay? And then just breathing, slowly lowering yourself, but keeping your back straight. We don't want to come apart here, tuck our chin under, keeping the back nice and straight. And we'll go about a 30 second hold here and then we'll switch sides. Again, we're taking suggestions for new videos every day. Um, so send them in. I'll leave my email down in the description. Travis at hillcrest.cc. Or if you have my phone number, um, shoot me a text or a call as well. We'll try to keep coming at you with new videos, new information. Let's go ahead and switch there. It's at 90 degrees. Back straight, come forward, light hands. And all this stuff we're doing in our videos too are things we're, we're teaching in our group classes every day at the club uh, when we're back open. And then what I'm teaching privately in sessions. It won't be normal stuff that you see every day in the gym or in boot camp. Uh, just working on Mostly just body control, body control, strength, balance, learning how to use your body the best way you can use. Keep breathing in through the nose, out the mouth, again, sinking down into the stretch a little more, keeping the back straight. We'll go five seconds. Hopefully, we're all staying safe out there, washing our hands, drinking water, eating properly still. Staying safe. I will look forward to seeing you back in the gym hopefully soon. If not, keep watching the videos and we'll catch you next time.